something insanely inspiring about the way certain fluids drip and drop and swirl and curl into one another just like this and I could sit here forever mixing them one blip and one bloop at a time and watch the curls and swirls mesmerize me but eventually I've got to step back and grab a pen, piece of paper, and put some of those curls, swirls on the paper, don't I? Man another had of this blast off. Man had another one of those blast off days. Hit me with another one of those. Back around at the blast off days. Man, I never loved you quite like that. Back around at the back around at the round around at the blast off days. Wheels to the ground had another sound to hit to the track. Round around about the back to rack sitting down Blast off today Zip Hit him with it Show him Show it to him Tony Allen Hey Blast off and land it uh, uh, hey, hey, welcome everybody. First of all, welcome, hello. I hope you're all just doing incredible today. Hope you're all having a great time, lunchtime, bedtime. Hope it's just great all around. If you're not doing well, I'm sending good vibes. I am. You might see my fingers wiggle every now and then, and you might think that it's just because the video is sped up. But this video is not, it's all in real time. Um, my time is not the same as your time. I exist on a different plane. A flood plane, I think, is what they call it technically. But uh, here we are, we're using glow in the dark ink, UV, UV ink. And I have a, basically I have a black light mounted, kind of perched precariously on a couple of easels above above the the desk here just out of the shot and it makes everything all bright and glowy and pretty and it's kind of magical to draw with the one thing i'm wondering is do i uh well i'm wondering if it's bad for my eyes because they have special glasses but i think the special glasses you can buy they have like uv glasses but i think the special glasses you can buy make it so you can see uv things even better like stuff really pops out so I feel like I want to try those but then again what would the point be of trying those if what I saw you guys wouldn't see but then I thought what if I like taped some of those glasses over the lens of the camera or what if they have lenses made out of the same material as those glasses would that work like that I honestly don't know because light is a very weird thing to me the way colors work you know, like th how the colors you see are just the ones that don't stick to the object. They're the ones that bounce off. So if you think something is red, it's really not red. It's anything but red because the the, the red light rays are the ones that are bouncing off and every all the other colors are the ones that are actually sticking to it. It's actually blue and green and yellow and purple and polka dotted. 
You'll never look at bouncy balls the same way. It's not red at all. Anyways, I'm using here a glass dip pen. Uh, it's just a dip pen made out of glass. It's not practical. Uh, I was talking to someone the other day and they were trying to, I felt like I was getting interrogated about why in the world I was using one of these glass dip pens. And it was right after I had talked about how I had accidentally broken a bunch of them. Um, but no, it's not, it's not, what's the word that I just used? Practical? We have better pen technology these days. We have ballpoint pens that you can buy for, for just a few pennies. Those work great. You can draw lines with them. We have all sorts of fancy pens, you know, uh, you know, if you want a nice, a real nice cheap pen that's re still really good to draw with, go grab you a Pilot G2. Anyone a Pilot G2 fan in here? I, I feel like I put a lot of hours into doodling with the Pilot G2 in my high school years and I don't regret it at all. In fact, maybe I should, maybe I should do a little throwback. Go grab one of those. Always, back when I, I used to go buy pens. I used to buy all my pens from office supply stores for some reason. Uh, I don't know, maybe those are just the ones my parents took me to, but I, I used to buy all my pens from office supply stores instead of arts and crafts stores. And Pilot G2s are in, why am I talking about Pilot G2? Anyways, these are glass dip pens. Uh, let's talk about what's in the video here. Uh, you make them out of, I don't know how, people that blow glass make them. This one that I'm using here uh, was made by uh, Fire Spider Glass. You can find a link in the description. He sent me some other crazy stuff we'll use in the future, just to wait and see. And uh, I don't know, that's like magic to me, how they make that stuff. That I don't even want to get into. Uh, if if that was me making the, 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 I can't talk, I've been up too long. I would, I would have burned down my house and burnt off my, I would be working with a ash pile and two stubs for hands if I was trying to do glass blowing. Don't let me around that stuff. I can barely work a lighter right. All right, goodbye, everybody. That's that's all I've got. Thanks for sitting, sitting there, and staring at my voice. Goodbye. Have a good day. Goodbye. I love you.